Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me. This is probably going to be my most important, exciting video I've ever released. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. And if I'm more excited about this than my travels, it's got to be pretty cool. So, I have been working on this probably since about November of last year. Granted, I get frustrated or easy and I quit. And then I sit and think about it and I'll try something that doesn't work and I sit and think about it. Um, so I wanted to come out and show you what I'm all excited about. So, let's get to it. So, I think you've all seen my back window cover. It's foam board. It won't stay up right now because I'm not putting it up there right. It's got foam board with reflective, so I've got something pretty to look at in the van. Um, and then what I did was put black duct tape around all the windows. So when it's upright, there is no light coming through. That means I am can self-camp. Now, what I have done... And this is ingenious. Let's shut the door and I'll take you through it. Now, the duct tape is off because guess who locked their keys in the van? <laughs> I did. Um, so I was able to push to the screen. Thank goodness I had that window down. I've never done that before. Hopefully I will not do it again. So... I took foam board and I cut it one piece of foam board plus this little section there just duct taped them together I cut out the middle and I put screen in the middle and duct taped the heck right out of it I have had it rain in here, or rain. I've been able to leave my window open. And now that I have an awning, which is a different video, I can have this window open. This is great because there's no gaps. I have rode with the window down. I can roll it up and down. I can leave it half open, all the way open, closed. It's been in there for three months. I wanted to give it a good trial run. Once in a while, I might have to add a little piece of duct tape where it's come loose. But the total cost of this, five bucks for a roll of duct tape, and it's done all my windows. Foam board, I spent one, two, three, four, six dollars because I did a couple of prototypes that just didn't work. Um... I do not measure, so it was trial and error. So I wasted a couple pieces of foam board, but you can get them at Dollar Tree for a buck. And the black just looks good. And of course, I've got that curtain rod up there, which I took my other curtains down to wash. So I've just got to cover up. I can have my window open and be enclosed in here, and nobody knows I'm in here, but I can still get a breeze. Okay, on to the next part. It gets more exciting. Hold on. I just ordered this huge visor or windshield cover from Amazon. It is an A plus shade, A1 plus shades. I got the extra extra large. And look at this. I mean, there's a couple little gaps, but I just tossed up there and walked away. Um, I could fix this so it um, doesn't gap, but nobody's going to be able to see in at night. And in the summer, of course, it's going to keep it cooler. Um, so this is a good thing. I'm really excited. I think it was like 12 bucks. I've tried so many things for my front windshield. Um, I highly recommend this. And the nice thing about it, it folds down right into this little bag. I'm not going to do it on video. You guys are smart. You know how to fold something up. 
and the directions do come with it if you're having a little difficulty. Okay. Now, what I was doing for my front windshield before were my blackout curtains. But I don't like them closed because it feels smaller, which it is. So, that's what I do for my front windshield. For the side window, very easy what I'm going to do. I ordered one of these screen pockets from Amazon. And make sure you get the right size. Because mine wasn't the right size, but I'm going to make it work because there was no return. Um, they're just a nylon mesh, so you can see through them. And they go over the frame of the door, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here it is on. So it's double protectant. And of course, there's a gap right here. Little buggies can get in. Not going to work, right? Wrong. So what I did, I had ordered magnets from Amazon. And I got some super, super strong ones. I don't know what they're called, but this is, they're rectangle, skinny, and they are strong. So I Gorilla glued them. Let them dry. Then you pull this down. And you do that all along the edge, and there's no gaps. So it keeps the buggies out, and quite frankly, I don't care what the outside looks like. So, <coughs> now I have taken mine off because I had to take my door apart and fix something. So I took all the magnets off, so I've got to put those back on. What I'm going to suggest, though, is right here and especially right here on the corners put duct tape over this to protect this screen now my disclaimer if you're gonna drive with these on which I do you got to make sure this is stretched out and you got a double look because it is harder to see when you're making a left-hand turn looking right. Um, so, actually, it's not that hard. You just pull this up and over, and your window's clear. Now, what do I do at night? For nighttime, and right now, I am stationary. Um, I am back with my family. I am living in my van. But I'm driveway surfing. This I've got to cut just a little bit bigger. I think you can see it all. It's cut to the shape of the window. And it just pops up here. right over the screen. Okay, it's like this. Silly me. So I just need to cut a little bit bigger and then I got magnets that hold it in place. So, I don't do that to the driver's side window because I wanna keep that clear. So that does not have any screens in it. Here you can see what the screen looks like and the sliding door. So, this is nice, I can have screens. Now hold on, the most exciting, super amazing thing is coming up in this last segment. So hold on. So now if you've been a subscriber since the beginning, thank you very much. But you also know that I got rid of everything. Everything I own is in this van. No storage shed. The only thing I've stored is my archery equipment at my son's. I bought this van in October. Kind of built it out a little bit, but I was working 84 hours a week. 
so I didn't take a lot of time. I had a cot in here, um, a dresser, a cooler, and in December I hit the road, and then in February I come back, March got rid of everything, and I was back out on the road in March. I didn't take time to build a van out for six months in my driveway. I wanted to be out on the road, so I've done this everything while I've been out on the road. So it's given me time to think, figure out how things work, what's going to work for me, what isn't going to work for me. And these back windows, these little pop-out wing windows, are a headache. I'm going to be polite. We know what they are. They are difficult to work with. But it's nice because if you're in a parking lot and you, or you can't have your windows down because you're sleeping and for safety reasons, these little wing windows can be huge lifesaver. We don't get that much air ventilation in the back of a van. And I sleep back there. Well, no, not back there. I sleep back there, so there's definitely no air ventilation. So this is what I come up with it. I am so super excited. Again, I didn't measure, and it's foam board. So I cut foam board. Oops, I gotta turn it the other way. <laughs> Give me a minute. Well, hopefully this is better. So what I did was foam board. I duct taped it around all of the edges, and I cut out a window. Put screen in it. Got this little clippy. I can slide my blackout curtain all the way across. Let me shut my door and this way I can show you what it looks like. So I've got a nice window because this is the one I sit on my bed and look out of. And I got full ventilation. Duct taped on the outside to hold the screen in and then it's just duct taped on the inside. So I'm not a fan of a fan, but air movement is huge in van life. So I cut a little tiny hole the size of the flam fan blades, and I can put this fan right there, Velcro or duct tape it. Velcro works great. Holds it in place. You put that on both of those windows, those little fans, and you get really good airflow cross ventilation these you can buy at Walmart for 10 bucks they use 11 watts if you got it into your solar and running it or you can charge it and I'll hold the charge about two hours five watts now what I have done that's a dowel at Walmart that's curtains on I cut out the bottom part of my front blackout curtains use the side seam for the hem, hem and then to self camp I cut a little piece of foam board right behind the seat belt I can close up that little hole and take the clippy off I can slide that curtain shut I can get a little bit of ventilation tuck it behind the seat belt no light coming through but a little bit of breeze will come through the bottom of the curtain This is just fantastic. That's where I cut it from. It was the bottom of those. So this whole windows cost me like $2. So $4 for both windows. And I get some good ventilation. What's your thoughts? What do you do for your van windows? If you've got an idea, you know, it's not all cut nice and neat, but I'm not OCD. I just want screens. I hope this has helped you guys. Whether you're sitting in your driveway building your van or out on the road getting eat up by mosquitoes, um, I hope this has helped. If you've got a better way to do it or suggestions, let me know. I'm not an OCD person, so it doesn't matter if things are straight for me. Um, 
what I am excited about, they're permanent, nothing to store. I don't have to take them up and down and think, oh, where am I going to put these or move them from place to place? I want everything to be as simple and uncomplicated in my life as possible. That's what makes this life so wonderful. So I hope this has helped you. Um, let me know what you think. I think I'm a genius. I think the world should know I'm a genius. Um, if you want to start a business with me, let's go for it. But remember, I don't measure. I'll just give you the idea and you run with everything else and give me 10% of the profits. I'd be good with that. Anyway, take care. Travel free, travel safe. Travel safe, travel free. Stay fantastic. Take care. See you next week. So now I've duct taped the screen all the way around. Some of it goes over the edge, some doesn't, but there's no gaps in the duct tape. That means there's no gaps for the little buggies that want to join van life. So now I'm going to put it in the window with this side facing in. The unduct taped side facing in.